Dear friends, we are in Dhammapada stanza number 207. Sukha Vag. Bala Sangata Charihi Digamata Nasochati. Dukko Balehi Sangvaso Amitte Neva Sabbada. Dhiro Sukha Sangvaso. Nyati Nangva Samagama. Brief meaning of this stanza is He who works in the company of fools has to grieve for a long time. Association with fools is ever painful, as living with the enemy. Association with the wise is pleasure, as living with relatives. This is the brief meaning of this stanza. In here, there are few words that we should pay full attention to understand the meaning of this stanza. Bala, as you know the word foolish. In here, it does not mention the person. It mentioned the quality, the person who has these kind of qualities, what are lack of thinking ability. This is the very significant things to recognize Bala. Foolish one does not have thinking ability. He always lives narrow-minded thoughts. His capacity is very limited. This is the nature of Bala. As you know in Blessing Discourse, Mahamangala Sutta, starting with Asevanach Balana, don't associate police. Don't associate police means not not the person. If you take as a person, then someone might consider as discrimination or you are discriminating that person. And also perhaps uh, might be someone can argue with you what kind of compassion, loving pain in their thoughts you have if you are not ready to associate policemen. Therefore, friends, we're not supposed to take in that meaning. The meaning is don't associate that foolishness, which is very dangerous, harmful. So in here also, Bala Sangat Chari Hi, in, in here in this stanza, he who walks in the company of fools, this is the very, very important, walks in the company, company of fools, company of fools, associating that foolish uh, activities, foolish behavior, foolish thoughts, you are grabbing those things and you are holding those things with you. That is the meaning of company. So of fools has to grieve for a long time, then you have to grieve. If you are uh, if you are ready to grab all these foolishness of the persons that who, who had mentioned as a foolish one, that foolishness will influence to you. Then that will manipulate you. Because that the danger is that foolishness is narrow, harmful, full of uh, lust, full of greed, full of hatred, full of ignorance. This is the nature of foolishness. So, when you are living with that foolishness, company of fools has to grieve for a long time, not, not a short time. The Buddha said, Anavatagoyam sansaro, this sansara, Birth and death circle is unlimited. You can't see the beginning and the end. Any of these 
uh, entries are unseenable. You can see it. How we began this sansara, no one can find it. How we can end, we know when we attain enlightenment that that would be the day that we can finish this journey. But we don't know when, how. All these sansaric journey we are suffering because of our foolishness. Foolishness is the main reasons to suffer in this sansara. Independent, dependent origination is starting with the avidya pacha sankhara, ignorance, not knowing nature. We are getting to the sansara, we are pushing to the sansara, to stay in the sansara, birth and death circle. Why? We don't know the solution. We can't find, we couldn't find the solution because of our ignorance, narrow mind. Very, very narrow mind. There is no any vision for our life. There is no any lights for our life. So we have to live with a very narrow situation, narrow capacity, uh, lack of capacity. So we have to suffer. We are living with grief. Anguttara Nikaya Tikka Nipata there is a sutta named Balavagga. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha was given explanation the nature of the foolish one. Bhikkave, disciples, dear disciples, fear is arising because of foolish, foolishness and fool. Fear is arising because of fools. No Pandita though, there is no any fear from wise people. Then the origin of fear, foolishness. Foolishness is the origin of fear. Who is, we consider as a fool one, foolish person, that person would be the main reasons to origin for, uh, uh, fear in this world. There is another stanza that Buddha used, Arama Rukka Chetani Manusa Bhaya People are worshipping trees, pagodas and uh, big ornaments because of fear. Then the religion started from uh, foolishness, lack of Thinking ability is the reasons to have the religion in the world. Now we can see there are so many religions in the world and there are arguments and conflicts. History of the religions you can see spread by force, killing people and punishing people. They spread that their message as religious message. So now you can see. What is the way, how, is, uh, how we live with the grief for a long time because of our ignorance. So ignorance is very dangerous. The Buddha said, if you don't have good vision, clear vision, you are not able to attain enlightenment. As you know, in Noble Late Pole Path, it started with Samma Ditti, right understanding, that is the vision. The vision is starting with right understanding and right concept, Samma, uh, samma Sankappa. So all these are related to open mind, uh, vast capacity of thinking ability, so these are very important for us to practice Dhamma and particularly to realize the truth. So who don't have this capacity, that person is suffering because that person has to live with grief in long time. This is the nature. You can see that through your friends, through your 
experience that you have in the, in the society. Just think about if there is a police one, how would be the danger? Just think about the moment of the world. We are suffering a lot because of war. Uh, particularly in Sri Lanka, we had uh, war. We had experienced 30 years long period of time war. We lived fearfully. We suffer a lot. Those days when we are going out from our place, we did not have thoughts whether we are able to come back safely or not. Parents, when they send their children to school, they, they had doubt all the time what is happening, what is happening, where is the where is the bombs blastings or something like that. They always worry. We know that we have that experience. If you have that kind of experience, you can think about all these things happen because of pools in the world. They were fighting for their power. They were fighting name of their religion. They were fighting name of their ethnic group. They were fighting name of their political party. But at the end, they also have to go from this world. It's the nature. But that foolishness already makes so many troubles around the world. Even today, we know how we people are suffering. Just think about the people who are in Afghanistan. They are suffering a lot because ignorance, foolish, foolishness. Ignorant people work with their ignorance, their foolishness, and a lot of people are suffering. I saw a video clip. Some people were trying to get into an airplane when they were not, ab not able to get in inside their plane, they were trying to fly in, uh, holding something outside, sitting outside the plane. Who can do this kind of such a foolish things? Why? Even though they are trying, they are uh, sacrificing their life, they are trying to escape from that kind of difficulties. Why? Fear is there. They are grieving. The people lived with the pools. Now they are suffering a lot. We don't know how long it's happening. So now you can see the nature who walks in company of fools has to grieve for a long time in this world it's happening. Experience, already you, you have that experience yourself. Association with foolish is ever painful. It is a painful thing. You know that. You don't want to get uh, uh, someone else's explanation to understand it. You, you are already experienced it. As living with the enemy, if you associate foolish, if you are living with foolish, fools, then you, all, you are living like an enemy. When you are living with the enemy, you have to be careful with each and every time. Even you can't sleep peacefully. You don't know how uh, would be there when you get sleep. When you, are sleep. when you are sleeping, you don't know what will happen there. You have doubt because you can't trust the person because of that their foolishness. Living, associating fool is equal to living with enemies. You can see these things through the society. When you are living with police, you have to all, you have to be careful all the time. The word that you are using, you have to be careful. And uh, even you, you can't sleep happily, peacefully. You have doubt what, what would be there. But association with the wise is a pleasure as living with relatives. If you have chance to associate wise people, you don't have any of these fear, doubt. 
when you are living without doubt, then happiness is there, pleasure is there. You can live peacefully, happily. Therefore, friends, the Buddha advised us to not to associate foolish, associate wise. Without associating fools, associate wise. Why? It is very helpful for our life to have comfortable life, peaceful life, happy life. When you are living confidently, you can have a peaceful mind, worryless mind. Why? You don't have doubt. You have confidence. This is very important. So now all these explanation did by the Buddha 2,600 years ago, but even though today you can see all these things are true and existing in the society where we are living. This is the nature of Dhamma, akalika, timeless. This is the nature of Dhamma, the teachings of the Buddha, akalika, timeless. Even the time the Buddha lived in this world 2,600 years ago, this was happened. Even today, we can experience. Actually, today we can experience than the time that the Buddha's time, because those days who were live, who were living in this society was mainly focusing on their spiritual development. Because when Buddha before come to this world, he was considering about the time. He was considering about the uh, uh, time and uh, place where he is going to born and also who would be the mother. All these were the things that he was considering before we come to this world. Why? The society, the people that he going to associate should be fruitful people. They're ready to uh, have the uh, knowledge enough knowledge, ripe knowledge, to realize the teachings of him. This is the way how he can speed up his sermons, his mission. So in here in this instance, he was giving some explanation to reduce our pain, suffering, and to increase your happiness and comfort. These are very important for our life. Dear friends, the Buddha's explanations are very clean and clear about the nature, about to understand the nature of the society. So we have to use all these information benefits for our, our, our life. This is the way how we can practice Dhamma. Practicing Dhamma means we have to apply these things to our day-to-day -day life. Without applying day-to-day -day life, we are suffering in one side and other side we are listening to Dhamma and we are trying to practice Dhamma, but useless, right? We are not applying the method. Therefore, if there is police one in even in your family does not matter. The Buddha said in here, as if you associate them, you are living with grief in long time for a long time. No one can avoid that. If it is like a life that you are living with enemies, you have to suffer a lot. This is this is the Dhamma. So whether that police person is your relatives or not, it does not matter. That foolishness will directly cause for your compassion, uh, comfort and to have worry and to gain unwholesome thoughts yourself. It's happening, it's the nature. Therefore, friends, we're not supposed to associate any police because 
we are trying to gain wisdom to gain wisdom better to maintain peaceful happy thoughts happy mind open mind clean mind powerful mind are very important to gain wisdom so that is our duty that is our responsibility attaining enlightenment mean is not something easy things it is very very difficult things you have to develop your energy strength into top up level to gain our wisdom so all these tiny tiny things are bothering so therefore we have to be careful we have to take care of all these things so we are not supposed to associate police one because we have clear vision clear mission and vision so we have to engage with that mission having that clear vision so this is our duty this is our responsibility so we not supposed to associate their foolishness even though they are living with us we does not matter we can help them with compassionate thoughts and loving friendliness thoughts but we are not ready to get, get their influence for our life this is the very important thing we have to be mindful to recognize their foolishness to recognize their narrow mind narrow path recognizing their narrow mind and narrow path we can prevent from them to gain any unwholesome things from them so this is our duty so mindfulness is very important now you can see so we are practicing meditation to gain our mindfulness for what to protect ourselves to increase our practice to speed our practice for what to attain enlightenment for our own liberation i think this enough for today thank you very much for your participation uh, let us use this wonderful opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful may you all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arise in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much thank you bonte sadhu 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 good to see you sir good to see you this evening bonte thank you to see you thank you good night Good night, Bhante. Thank you, Bhante. Good night. Good night. Good night. You're better now.